How are you feeling going into it? Season's gone fast, that's how I'm feeling. It's amazing how quickly they go, especially with this uh, good group of kids and uh, as many seniors as we have, it's gonna be tough to see them go and play their last game. But the great thing is, is that we still have something to play for. And um, you know, the goal is to win the series this weekend, just to keep ourselves in a position regionally that, that we feel a little more comfortable in, but also to clinch conference. We need one game. Uh, to do that at home so you can't ask for much more going into the last weekend to control your own destiny and also you know i'd much rather have one game to win as opposed to three like we were a couple weeks ago so it's uh it's a good feeling to have but again it's, it's gone way too fast you kind of hinted at there it went fast 22 seniors it's a, it's a group that's been with you anywhere from four years to two years depending if they transfer do you think emotions are going to play a factor this weekend well you hope not but yeah i mean it's always it's always emotional for me and for them i mean it's 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 tough for me to see them go i mean that's the thing that we're in this business for is to watch these guys grow and, and watch them develop and become not only better ball players but better men and, and I think that uh, you know the guys that we have it's 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 a really special group being the fact that the ones that have been here for four years went to the World Series with us the first time and you know so they have that feeling and they have that connection and um, they've carried on the winning tradition I mean they've been to all of them have been to three regionals, you know, so that's that's something that doesn't happen too often. And to for them to go to a fourth and be able to say for their college career that they won as many conference championships as they did and the um, the uh, you know, regionals is pretty special. Like you talked about, uh, hoping for a regional. Uh, regional rankings just came out. Looks like you're solidified at fourth for now, which which gets you in. Which means this weekend isn't it. And so, what's the balance between? Yes, it's the last game on your home field. Um, but at the same time, there's still a lot more to play for. What's that balance with the guys? Well, that's the hard part, but also the good part is that we have a bigger picture that we're going for, and this isn't the end. You know, we have something else to play for. We have something somewhere else to go, hopefully, once we're done with this weekend, next week. But these next two weekends are big. If we uh, don't do our jobs and don't take care of our business, we can be out on the outside looking in. You talked about the outside looking in, um, and with the record you had, you're about to talk about 37-10. and 10. How, how could a team like that be on the outside looking in? Yeah, it's something that uh, isn't understandable until you've been around Division II baseball a while and you see how many good teams are in our region and the competition stiff and um, any and that's the the problem with D2 is that one game, one series can hurt you for the postseason and um, you know if I had to go back and play two days over, I, I wish I could, but we can't and um, those two days are putting us in the position that we're in. But you know, uh, overall, I'd much rather be where we are, which is fourth, than be on the outside looking in right now because it's always much more difficult to get into it than it is uh, to stay in it. You know, absolutely. And so taking a look at Newman, um, you guys have distanced yourselves in the Heartland Conference. Uh, you have that that three game advantage, and so you just need one to clinch. Um, at the same time, Newman's taking taking some games off. The Heartland Conference is, is some say, a cluster this year. Newman took some games off of uh, some really good teams. What are you looking from, looking for from them? Well, it's scary because they are still in it, you know, and they if they fight and they beat us, they're in the tournament, you know. So it's one of those things that they're playing for something and so are we. Um, they're playing for their lives. We're playing for seating. And, um, you know, that's a scary thing is that when the team's playing for their lives and their back's up against the wall, it's something that you know you're going to get the best fight from them. When they fight hard and they fight good, they're a good team. And um, Zane's done a great job with them this year and gotten them into a position where you looked at them midway through the year and thought, geez, these guys are going to are going to push for a regional. They slid back a little bit, but you know that talent's still there, and uh, they keep winning ball games. So we're going to have to be at our best this weekend and, and play the, the top of our game to make sure we take care of our jobs. For fans watching online or coming out to the game, uh, we've talked about St. Mary's bats before. Love it, Christian, obviously a, a really um, – full package deal. What is Newman bringing to the table? Are you looking at their arms, their bats, or what, what do they have? Well, they've got one hitter that's probably, you know, toss up between him and JD, who's the best hitters in the conference right now. And, um, you know, if you look at his numbers, they don't have the power that JD has, but the kids have passed. He's been impressed for, for three years. So um, they've got that guy that you have to keep off base. And if he comes up with runners in scoring position, you're going to have to be smart in how you pitch him up. So that's the one big threat that they have. But then, you know, their pitchers are, they've got a veteran guy coming back that's going to start the first game for him tomorrow. That's won a lot of games this year. So um, it's a little bit of a combination of both. But again, like I said, and I've told our guys all year, is that if we do our jobs and we take care of our business, um, I'll take our guys against anybody in the country, and that's the same for this weekend.
Got a chance to mention to you right before the interview, a few releases about to come out, but a big day for, for Hilltopper Baseball. J.D. Arrowwood, at least regional player of the week, yet to be heard if he's national hitter of the week. You have two guys, Kosida Academic All District, and then Eric Hester's on the uh, Brett Tomko Pitcher of the Year watch list. What does that mean for you as a coach? It's great things. I mean, and the, the thing that I tell these guys all the time and the thing that I realize more and more the longer I'm around is all those things come to good teams, you know, and, and all the individual awards come when you win. And that's the thing that people have to understand. It, it, a lot of times those awards don't come for teams that are losing, and they can't come for pitchers when the teams are losing because they're going to automatically look at their wins. But when you have a strong team and you have a strong nucleus, it makes it easier for individuals to do their jobs because the pressure's off of them. So when you have a better team like we have this year, those are the things and the accolades that can come about, and that's what's so nice to see. And it's nice icing on the cake for individuals, but I'm sure all of them would trade that in to, to compete for a national championship, and that's still our number one goal. But um, again, it is a special thing, and it's something that, that shouldn't go unrecognized, that's for sure, but it's also uh, a product of, of their team teammates as well. well. Thanks again for the time, Coach. Good luck this weekend. All right, Sam. Thanks.